I just woke up, I slept pretty well and it was very windy all night but more luckily my tent held up <laughs> nothing broke, nothing ripped so that is that is good I it's not as windy anymore so I was not afraid to leave my tent and have a shower so I did that and I managed to boil some water so now I'm having some tea and peanut butter sandwiches while I am enjoying this view and there's my breakfast table <laughs> so I'm gonna finish my breakfast back up and leave um, I'll be stopping at Broadhaven to do some shopping and then yeah let's see how far I'll get today It's the end of day seven. I arrived at my camp spot. Um, it's again a farm campsite with big green fields and an ocean ocean view. Um, unfortunately, many of these campsites they require like 20p or 50p for the shower blocks, which I don't carry. I'm now gonna just do some reading and for dinner today I don't think I'll be cooking I probably have some sourdough bread with guacamole which I still have left over from lunch it's again windy but not as bad as yesterday so I'm looking forward to some good sleep and some good rest
it is the morning of day 8. I am still in my tent because it's raining a little. Um, I think it's about 9 o'clock now. So much later than all the other days. But I think I'm gonna wait another half hour or so and see if it kind of clears up. I've had my breakfast, my coffee and I've packed all my things. I'm just gonna read, relax for another half hour or so hoping that in that time the rain will clear. I arrived in Dale. I um, it's like 4:30. I think I have to go another hour or so for the next campsite. I have a nice little spot for some rest. I got a nice oat latte, and I'm having this little snack here. Uh, it's been drizzling on and off all day today, but it's not been cold and not been very windy, so it wasn't too bad. Uh, but yeah, this is a nice little, nice little place. Uh, so I'm gonna take a like 15 minute rest or so and just look at my map to see exactly where I'm going and then I'm gonna go find the campsite. here in my tent. Uh, I am not on an official campsite. Just when I went off the official coast path into Sint Ishmael to find the camp spot I encountered, I don't know, it's like a music event that's going on on a sports field and I asked if I could also pitch my tent there. There are a lot of tents here and that was fine. So. Um, there's gonna be some music later. Uh, I have my pasta for dinner and now I'm just having some, having some snacks, some banana chips and reading, uh, reading my book. I'll probably be leaving tomorrow early uh, because finding a camp spot tomorrow might be a bit of a challenge so I just want to make sure I have enough time. But that's something to worry about tomorrow. First I'm gonna just read and I guess enjoy the music later. <laughs> Checking out the music was shortlist because it soon started raining. So I'm now back, pulled up in my tent and doing some reading. Um, maybe later when, when or if the rain stops, I'll go and have another look at the music. Uh, they're still playing, but the area in front of the music tent, there's no tent cover or anything. So. Maybe I'll have another look later. It's the end of day 9. Uh, I haven't been t using my camera at all today because it was raining pretty much from when I got up. Um, I now arrived at the campsite and as soon as I started pitching my tent the sun came out so it's again a sudden complete change of weather. Uh, I had a nice shower, um, 
I kind of came upon this campsite by accident because there was a sign along the road because uh, on my map there were no campsites at all in this section so I kind of expected to be wild camping uh, which I did not look forward to because it's much more industrialized and residential around here the campsite is really nice it's quiet and very green I have my own little own little space around here I'll just be some doing some reading some relaxing and I don't know <laughs> let's see if I'll cook or just have some sandwiches for dinner It is the morning of day 10. I am ready, almost ready to leave. I packed up all my things, almost all my things, and now I just have to pack up my tent and do some dishes and refill my water bottles. Um, I slept really well, much longer than I probably should have. I think it's close to 10 already. So I'm gonna pack up my tent and start walking. So today's walk is gonna be I think the least interesting it's gonna be very industrial because now I'm around Neeland and Pembroke Pembroke docks so there's a lot of uh, old oil refineries so it's gonna look much less interesting I'm afraid compared to the previous nine days Today was the toughest day so far. The route was long and followed a lot of tarmac paths and roads. When finally it felt like my campsite was not much further away, I got stuck in a field with playful young bulls who did not want to leave me alone. They came running towards me as soon as I moved. I must have stood in the middle of the field for about 15 minutes until they finally lost interest and wandered away so I could quickly dash across the remainder of the field and through a gate. It was already 7 p.m. when I finally arrived at the campsite. I was so tired, I just quickly set up my tent and fell asleep. start I've made uh, so far, at least from a campsite. Uh, today's going to be a long walk, about 30 something kilometers probably. So that's why I wanted to make sure that I leave early. 
it was kind of a strange campsite, but nice. And the view behind me there also quite nice, although I didn't see anything of that from the campsite. So today it's going to be largely over some um, military ground, like hopefully it will be open because apparently there's still some active uh, shooting ground. So hopefully there won't be any activity today and I can just cross the original path rather than the alternate. Um, yeah, I haven't had breakfast yet, so today I'm very my box to make sure that I'm taking proper breaks and that I'll have my breakfast and my lunch at the right time. Because yesterday I did not have proper lunch at all and I just kept walking and I didn't really stop and take a break. So today the plan is to do that better. <laughs> After a long walk along a road through military terrain, I arrived at the famous Green Bridge of Wales. The next stretch of coast was incredibly beautiful, but also the most busy with day hikers. Around 3pm I arrived at the campsite and since it was still early I decided to go down to the beach and have a swim. I had been walking along the coast for 11 days now, but this was the first time I actually took a dip. And the water was freezing cold. I could barely breathe because of it and after maybe two minutes of floating around I returned to the beach to dry and to read my book. Back on the campsite I was too lazy to cook so I just ate bread with guacamole for dinner. I just left the campsite. I left quite late. It's now 11.15. Um, it was raining when I woke up so I wanted to try and get my tent as dry as possible. Uh, which didn't happen but at least it wasn't soaking wet. Today is going to be very short. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Um, I'm going to soon be arriving at Tenby and running around there for a bit and then just 
outside of Denby, I hope to find a campsite. Maybe even stay there for the night. Tenby, which is really a cute little town. I'm having some coffee, taking a break, and then going towards my campsite. So I just got to the campsite uh, just outside of Tenby. It was initially full, but luckily they had a small space uh, for me and uh, they said they never turned down backpackers, so <laughs> that's very kind. Um, I'm just outside of Tenby. It, it can be seen right beyond there. So unfortunately I can't see the view from my tent because there's bushes in front but yeah it's still pretty nice and I think it's still early so I think I'm just going to take some rest and then uh, maybe for the evening go into town because it's like I don't know 10-15 minute walk so it would be nice to see the town as it gets dark. It's the morning of day 14. I just left my campsite. It's close to 11. I waited as long as possible because I think today won't be more than five kilometers. Well, hopefully it won't be more than five kilometers because uh, before the finish in Ambroth, there is only one campsite basically. I am aiming and hoping that I can stay there for just one night and then tomorrow morning I'll be leaving quite early I think as early as possible so that I am uh, I'll arrive in Amroth at the end of my Pembrokeshire Coast path um, around 10 10 30 so I have plenty of time to walk a little back to the bus stop got to my campsite uh, I arrived here like just before noon already and first I thought I'd go to the beach and just spend some time there and try and check in a bit later but then I thought okay let's just try and see if they even have space so I know if I have to walk more or not but initially they said they were full but then they s like they realized that I'm a walker or a backpacker so they said no we'll always have space for uh, coastal path walkers so yeah they pointed me to like just a, a field 
There are some tents here, but it's not that full, but maybe because it's early, maybe others will arrive later, so... Yeah, it's just past 12. I don't know exactly what I'll do. I'll probably just do some reading, maybe go down to the beach. Uh, Saunders foot is not that far either, so... Maybe I'll go walk up there. Uh, I'm not really sure yet, but first I'm gonna have... I got some... I have a farm shop, so I got a nice bottle of orange juice so I'm just gonna drink some of that and relax for a bit and decide what to do with the rest of the day it is 2 30 and I'm back in my tent and as you can hear it's raining so I went to Saunders foot uh, for lunch time and basically as soon as I got there it started drizzling I did manage to get a coffee and there was not much else to do there like not many shops or anything so I just wandered around for a brief while and just when I started heading back it started to rain properly I mean it's only about 30 minute walk um, but yeah it's a walk in the rain and I obviously I left everything in my tent so no waterproofs or anything and it's now only 2.30 so I'm just gonna have to spend the rest of the day in the tent I think When my alarm went off at 6 o'clock, it was almost dry and by the time I was ready to leave at 7, it was completely dry and it's now 8.30 and there is the monument marking the end of 